Baby uh oh! Oh wow! I know. I had to come clean about that. Apparently That's like Harbs Tahoe, Alabama. Alabama. Police. Hey, coming up on SEC Nation, we have both coaches in this game. So Kirby Smart and Mark Stoops are going to join the show. We are also going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Tim Tebow and Brock Bowers, and why someone says Alabama could be on upset alert. We cannot wait to see you on Nation right at the top of the hour, right here on SEC Network. See you there. All right, there you go. Thank you, Laura. And uh, yeah, we're speaking to the people. Need to just do a blank sign and call it a blank space. I'm glad to be back with you guys. I want to first of all give a huge shout out to Marty Smith for holding it down these last couple weeks. There Marty, we go, Marty. You are the best and we're so thankful for you. Paul Feinbaum, Jordan Rogers, Tim Tebow, Roman Harper. Guys, the dogs are 14 and a half point favorites. They're still the number one team. I want, I want to do a little game here. Raise your hand if you think they need to have like a stomp down statement game tonight. Oh, you do? I think they need to. Okay, why? Because they've, sl they've started slow almost every game against Auburn, a team every that game. nobody thought very highly of. They were in it till the very end. I think Georgia's capable of showing they are the dominant number one team in the country. I do believe they are. That's they all it's about. It's just winning. It's the SEC against the number 20 ranked Kentucky team. That's a good football team. All you need to do is focus on getting a win, celebrate that win. You don't got to compare yourself to last year's, last year's team. They barely got out of Kent State. Yeah. Saying, Thank goodness Miss Terry has intervened. All is well. It is the most bizarre turnaround point favorite to two point favorite in this game. Yeah, I mean, Jordan, it has to do with Jalen Milrow's improvements in some ways, right? Yeah, I think we need Miss Terry to give a pep talk to the O-line, though. I mean, no, but seriously, this is the best defensive front they're going to face all yeah. year. So when I watch Jalen Milrow, let's take it to the gridiron brought to you by Johnsonville. The sticks all day with second and 13, second and 16. And in order to be aggressive, you, you got to be better on first down. Yes. You can't be yeah. aggressive on second and 10 as a no. play caller, right? Yeah, you got to get hard. to second and mediums, third and medium. Yeah. So Milrow's got to help out with that, too. All right, we're going to talk about this game more when we pick it a little bit later on. But guys, guys Doc runs deep. Who wants it? You guys want it? Let's give it to the two Kentucky fans. Oh, wait, we got two more. No, I'm going to you guys. <laughs> there you go. So glad to have everybody out here in Athens today. We got more SEC Nation. You're here on the big screen in front of all these Georgia fans. There are some Kentucky fans out here, though, as well. Uh, but first of all, just what do you want to say to the couple Kentucky fans who are out here? Give them some love. Hey, let's go, Cats. Coach, even in the lead-up to this game, is just how much Ray Davis is doing. It's not even just that he's following the O-line's blocks. He's creating opportunities for himself. What does he need to do out there tonight? Kevin Leary, what's important for your quarterback? Yeah, I think with Jeff. <laughs> the best approach anybody can try to make. Coach, good luck tonight. We wish you the best, and thanks so much for joining us right here on yeah. SEC Nation. We appreciate you. you know, we're talking about Ray Davis, and what a game he had against Florida last week, the 280 yards. Here's SEC Inside with a little inside perspective on that. Incredible conversation, Tim. Let's talk a little bit more about Bowers. Roman, you start. Oh, I, I think the one thing that he does is his fantastic ability to be able to catch the football in traffic. And right here, we're going to talk about this one-handed catch. Mm. Oh. I mean, in Come the on. biggest moment when you got to have it, you can count on Brock over and over and over again, third and ten. And it's a great throw right here. Understand the DB is not Come looking on. and just be able to put it right there. I mean, most guys need two hands. Brock says, I'm good. I just need one because the DB's pulling on my other one. I can still go out there and make That's this ridiculous. play. That's so big time. But people don't know. And you couldn't see that on the All-22. I had to go back and watch it on the TV copy. Wow. I tell you what, I think he just strikes fear in tacklers. When he catches the ball, guys don't want it. They don't want to get in front of him, right? So you get him the ball in space. He's as fast as a wide receiver. Look at him just split tackle his legs. That guy didn't want tackle to tackle him. Legs. He did not want to tackle him. Tackle tackle his legs. Legs. That's a choice of the Skin. will, and he tackle. said not today. Absolutely. Strikes fear. He's fast, and he is just so good. You with guys the ball are, are so accurate with both of those takes on him. But one of the things most people don't talk about is his willingness and his excellent blocking. Yep. Like, look at this. This is now he's actually a real tight end. And it's a defense. Of in. One on one. Outweighed by plays 50, 60 snaps every game to finish your blocks when, guess what? Not everybody's watching that. That's not going to make Sports Center top yeah. 10, and he does it anyway. That's a teammate you love. I'll tell you who's love watching it. it. NFL GM. Anybody no in the doubt. NFL is yep. watching it. Exactly. And All his right, we, They're we not going to uh, ask him to block like that. Stop uh, that, guys. He will won't. anyways. <laughs> he will anyways. Hey, we have a little demo we want to do up here, but we needed some reinforcements, guys. You guys just aren't enough. So True. we called in the downtown Falcons, the Pee Wee football team. What an incredible honor to have them here on SEC Nation. They're a local developmental oh, organization. Let's go. They've been here for over 20 let's years. Let's go. Helping let's these go. young people have the best Let's time go. in life. Hey, you 
what I'm talking about. You guys are going to leave me hanging. What's up, What I'm talking about. What's up, guys? All right, boys, take it away. What do we got? Well, we were just watching how hard it is to tackle Brock Bowers, right? Tackle him in space. And I think there's a there's a great question is like, how many it would take to tackle Brock Bowers of real size human beings, let alone tykes like this? Y'all, how many of you think it'd take to tackle Tim Tebow? This guy, right this here. Guy. <laughs> take him down. Three. Three. Okay, you guys stand over here. You guys back up a little bit. We're gonna run a play. I want you guys to be on defense. Oh, Tim's no. gonna be. <laughs> Good job. Wow, Good you job. know what? There's not many who can say they tackle Tim strip. Tebow. Hey, he got you. Yeah, he's got the ball. Good job. So the answer talking is seven. That. Yes, seven. seven. The entire uh, team. Can I just say I love their out their unis? Yeah, you guys look great. I love it. Wait, let me see a dance. Let me see a touchdown dance. What's your best touchdown dance? Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay. All right, who's yes. next? Touchdown dance. Touchdown dance. Let me see it. What you got? Okay. Oh. Great and helping give them the best opportunities in their lives. We have so much more coming your way on SEC Nation. We're going to get you ready for LSU and Missouri. That comes your way at noon. And we'll get you all your picks that you need to get ready for week six in the SEC. We'll be right back from at the Zoo. All right, time to take our picks in this game. And I'm going to start with you, Timmy. We're going to sure. remind thicker everybody picker. the thicker pick. The thicker picker. We're going to remind everyone that uh, Roman earlier said that Missouri could play spoiler to the favorites in the SEC. Go ahead. Well, I think they could. But I don't think they will. I think LSU shows up. I think they play improved defense, not great defense. Missouri's the team that everybody needs to be talking about going forward because they are talented and they know who they are. Isn't it crazy at home, the the higher-ranked team, when he picks them, everybody goes, ooh. I know. Right? <laughs> LSU, <laughs> LSU's still five-and-a-half-point favorites. Yeah, but LSU traditionally wins this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you were right. searching for the why. I'm going to tell you the why. It's okay, thank you, Jordan. everything is still in front of this LSU team. They have one loss in the SEC. They can still get to the SEC championship. They can still get to the college. <laughs> uh, Paul, it's a party pooper, not crasher, but you're used well, to that role. Wasn't that a movie, it's Party fine. Crashers? Yeah, probably, wedding, uh, crashers. wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers. Great party. movie. I don't, I don't see a lot We're of We're just movies. mixing a lot of sayings. <laughs> I get fine. it. There we go. That's what we do. All right, guys. At this time next year, this is going to be really cool, the Red River today. So it's not okay. Paul that he's just going to um, only visit Texas, Oklahoma. You didn't get to make a pick. Who are you taking, Texas uh, or Oklahoma? Well, I, I like Texas in this game. And, and quite frankly, Oklahoma. The ball Paul's a big game, schedule guy today. I like it. <laughs> True, though, they haven't, they haven't been tested this year at all, and they might not after this game. This is their Super Bowl. That's why I think it'll be a good game. Oklahoma's going to show up, but I think we all agree. As you watch that game on ABC, just get excited because it's going to be in the SEC next season. Cannot wait for that. Can't wait to see it today. Also, coming up after our show, Mississippi State hit, revealed the fan pick. I'm told 55% of fans are picking Georgia, but that means That's a lot close. of fans are picking Kentucky, too. That's that. close. All right, so let's do our picks. We're going to start with you, Rome. Who are you taking, the number one Bulldogs or number 20 Kentucky? Kentucky's playing well right now, but let's just be honest. Georgia's the best team, and I promised you guys years ago. I would not pick against Georgia until they prove me wrong, and they have not done that. I'm betting on Georgia. Out of all these years we've been doing it, this is the closest that you could say this matchup has ever been. The physicality at the line of scrimmage, the running game, the playmakers. It's the closest it's been. But it's not close enough. Georgia's too good at home at night. In this game, I do think Georgia's going to find a way to make them one-dimensional. I think they're going to take that away, and I think they're going to be tougher against the run than people maybe would suspect. I think the X factor to me is Lad McConkey. His mm. presence back in this offense was absolutely huge for Carson Beck, especially on third down. Four of his five targets were on third down last week, three first downs. He's just ridiculous. I think yes. he adds another element, and I think that's going to be the difference. All right, we got three picks for Georgia. Paul, you want to make the Cats fans happy? Okay. Georgia. 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 Baby Reese went Georgia. Yeah, she did. Yeah. It's a quiet crowd. What do you think? Come on, guys. <laughs> August. Kentucky is really good, but they're not close to the dog. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Six.